Top 10 facts about the Siberian Husky One breed that has made itself more popular as the years go by is the Siberian Husky. The reason for their popularity is not hard to describe. A breed who is a wolf on the outside but all dog on the inside is a companion that many families want to add to their homes. Welcome to Dog Law, guys. Today we wanted to help you understand these lovable pets better. You may have one or you may want to adopt one someday, so stay tuned. This list is perfect for you. Before we begin, can you tell us if you know about any famous husky? Tell us in the comments below the stories you've heard about any famous dogs of this breed. We'll tell you one of those stories in just a few minutes. Remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications to be the first one to watch our videos. Number 1. Huskies are escape artists while this is not general for all huskies, some dogs of this breed are well known for escaping from everywhere by any means necessary. This is why you'll often see them trying to dig under, jump over or chew through a fence. This can have several reasons. They may not be stimulated enough mentally or have enough physical activities. In other words, they're bored. Boredom is the most common reason for dogs to escape, which is why you need to keep your Siberian Husky active. Teaching them tricks or taking them on long walks or jogs are a good way to avoid these situations. Although it's not always about boredom. Sometimes loud noises such as construction noises, fireworks or storms can cause a husky to feel the need to escape, leading to destructive behaviour. Fear based on separation anxiety can happen as well, so we recommend not leaving your husky alone for a long time or otherwise be by their sides when loud noises are happening around your home. One way this could be easily solved is to provide them with a routine schedule that includes a daily exercise. That way they'll be used to waiting until it's time to release all the energy they have in their body and stop seeking to stay active by escaping the house. Number 2. Huskies have a pack mentality We all need companionship and so do Siberian Huskies. Having a pack mentality means preferring to be with other pet siblings than being by themselves. This point can be linked with the previous one because when getting a Siberian Husky along with another dog, it can be of another breed but it would be better if it were a Husky, will cause them to be less bored. If boredom is avoided, a lot of the problems go away. When they get another pet friend to play around with when the owner is away, they won't suffer from separation anxiety. Of course, we're not saying get two Siberian Huskies or get nothing. Owning one Husky is perfectly fine and if it's well trained, socialized and submitted to exercise, everything goes along as smoothly as having two dogs. But if you feel like it and are up to the task, getting two huskies is less a handful than you think. Playing with a friend equals less trying to escape around the house and wreck the place. We often say less is more, but with huskies, more is actually more. I'm sorry, we meant more is better. It's just the saying goes, d okay, moving on. Number three, huskies vocalization. One day you'll be hanging around with your newly adopted Siberian Husky, maybe four or five days in, when you realize they've barked little to nothing since they've been with you. You'll be surprised to know that Huskies rarely bark. They prefer to keep that dog part of them inside and prefer to let out the wolf side of them. Prepare to have your days filled with howls that can be heard 10 miles away. But it doesn't end there. Not only do Huskies howl more than they bark, but they also talk back to their owners. For them, howling and whining are the most common ways of communicating. So, if you arrive in your house after work and you see a mess caused by a husky and are about to lecture them, prepare to be thrown a world-class tantrum. The number one situation where you'll hear your huskies vocalizing is when they're complaining about something, because that's the only way to express their problem. They also emit these sounds after hearing sirens or other high-pitched sounds and even listening to music. Number 4 they must not become the alpha. Because they have a pack mentality, some huskies tend to develop an alpha personality. When they're being scolded, alphas may growl or develop a scary attitude to indicate dominance. If you have more than one dog in your house, the alpha gets what it wants and other dogs in lower ranks respect what their boss wishes. As an owner, you try hard to understand what your huskies feel or what they're trying to communicate to you. But your dogs may also feel the same towards you. There are times that you feel insecure to give them an instruction, and this unusual or unclear behavior may confuse your dogs. If you're giving them unclear and confusing orders, they may take over leadership. You have to set the rules like a trainer would usually do. 
This can be accomplished by acting firm and standing tall, which includes using great eye contact and a firm voice in order to project a certain idea. Allow yourself to be confident and tough, and your dog should respect and recognize your behaviors like the ones of an alpha. Number 5. Huskies can have different colored eyes. One of the most visually striking characteristics that some huskies can have is one eye with a different color from the other. This happens because of heterochromia, which is an excess or lack of melanin or pigment in the iris that can affect many breeds of dogs and even people. Although huskies are prone to eye problems, heterochromia itself is usually hereditary and does not affect your dog's ability to see, nor cause any harm or contribute to eye problems. Having two different eye colors usually isn't bad or anything to worry about. However, in some cases, eye color could be an indication of something serious. For example, if you notice your dog's eyes are changing color to become cloudy or unusually light blue, this could be a serious health issue such as cataracts. In these cases, you should seek a professional veterinarian. In general, it's better to have your husky eye checked once or twice a year, and it's also better to pay attention to their eyes, especially at a young age, to detect or rule out signs of eye condition early on. Now we're halfway through the list, we want to tell you a story about three of the most famous huskies ever. Balto, Fritz and Togo, a team who led the Great Race of Mercy. In 1925, a diphtheria outbreak had taken hold of a town called Nome in Alaska. In order to deliver a life-saving serum to the Nome folks in need, Belto led the expedition over 700 miles through blinding blizzards. A statue was erected in his honor in Central Park after the successful completion of the mission. Fritz and Togo were also important figures in the race and led important sections of the expedition themselves. Tell us another story of other famous huskies in the comments below. Number 6. Huskies Bite Force What a relief that Siberian Huskies are a friendly breed, because they sure can take care of themselves if they ever need it. Before we tell you the strength of a Husky Bite, we want to throw a little knowledge for you. The strength of the bite of a breed can't be measured with any accuracy because you can't teach a dog to bite with consistent force every time they're tested. The bite will be different each time it's measured, and each dog will have a slightly different measurement. Keep in mind that when the bite force of a breed is discussed, it can only be in a general way. Trained dogs typically have a higher bite force than untrained ones. A human averages 120 pounds per square inch. Siberian Huskies have a tremendous bite force of about 320 psi. For reference, it generally takes only 130 psi to break a human arm bone. To give you some idea, only the Mastiff and Kangal breeds have a higher bite force than Huskies. Number 7. Siberian Huskies make poor guard dogs. A common question everybody asks is, do Siberian Huskies make a good guard dog? Well, while they can be fierce looking dogs, Siberian Huskies don't make good guard dogs. They're curious dogs and they love meeting and playing with anyone willing to play. It would be unusual to have a Husky and he ends up being aggressive. But then again, every dog is different. The reason for this is because they simply love the company. Remember when we said that they would be happier with more animals and more people in the house? This is why they're often unsuspicious and friendly to strangers. They make good watchdogs though. When they see a stranger or another dog, they all start howling and letting you know that something is up. That's as far as it goes though for guarding. Now we don't want to contradict our previous point. Huskies may growl and could become aggressive only if they sense menace or want to prove themselves as the alpha, but they lack natural aggression inside of them. Number 8. Cats and Siberian Huskies The relationship between cats and dogs can be rather complicated, and by complicated, we mean the dog choking itself on the leash as the cat gracefully goes away, as is often depicted in the media. While it's possible for Huskies to get along with cats if they are trained at a very young age, there is, however, the risk of a husky falling for its prey drives and wanting to chase and perhaps harm cats and other animals. This prey drive has been ingrained into them from their past when they were bred by Chukchi people as hunting dogs. You can do your best to limit these husky instincts, but they will always appear and are triggered by the quick dart and prey-like movements that cats love to do. Now, like everything in life, there are exceptions to the rule, and there are husky owners who successfully live with a cat and haven't had any inconvenience. This is difficult to achieve, but can be done by teaching the husky that the cat under the same roof is part of the family and part of the pack, just like he is. 
This can be accomplished by several steps, but overall, having them in a controlled environment with the husky on a leash until both of them realize they belong to the same family is a good idea. Number 9. Huskies don't get fatigued. When humans attempt to run long distances with little food, we start to use our body's fat and glycogen and eventually get fatigued or tired. Huskies and other sled dogs, on the other hand, burn a lot of calories without even getting close to fatigue. They do this by regulating their metabolism. The way this works, it seems, is that they flip an internal switch that changes how they burn fat calories, allowing them to keep going and going and going with no obvious pain or tiredness. Figuring out how that mechanism works may have implications for human diabetics and those battling obesity. After a study carried out by a team headed by Oklahoma State University's Michael Davis, testing huskies after 100-mile races for four to five days in a row, they concluded that during the first few days of racing, sled dogs draw energy from the glycogen stored inside muscle cells. But instead of depleting glycogen stores and tiring the muscles, the animals suddenly switch to a glycogen-sparing metabolism. They start drawing energy from sources outside of the muscles. Although we're not sure how this mechanism works, figuring it out could have implications for human diabetics and those battling obesity. Again, huskies saving the day as usual. Number 10. They prefer cold weather. Huskies not only have their thick double-layer coat to endure extremely low temperatures, they also have fur on their toes that keep their paws insulated. They even have claws that can maintain a grip on icy surfaces. All of these characteristics not only suit them to endure cold, but they prefer it that way. Also, they need a lot of room to spare, so you might want to think otherwise if you live in a warm environment, and on top of all that, you don't have a lot of room for your husky to exercise. This being said, they can do very well in seasons, you'll just have to be prepared for the time when your husky will be eager to go outside and play in the snow with your children. That's our list for today, folks. Did you think we left anything out? Comment below and tell us what we should talk about in the next video. Till next time.